Hello and welcome to the Milk Men. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's the Milk Bar Podcast, episode five, where we focus on comedic commentary, pop culture from the week prior, TV and film, gaming and food news, and also news from around the world. Today, I am joined by What's Ellis. If you There's interrupt me, if you inter- one word. If you interrupt me one more Swear time, you said more than one word, then you know. I am joined by Ellis, Christopher, Daniel, myself, and Angus Frank is back because he realised that the last episode would be pretty fucking scuffed. Don't blame him. Yeah, Which I don't blame him one. either. I didn't want to be there myself, to be honest. There was some pretty <laughs> questionable <laughs> shit said by everyone. My bad, Daniel. <laughs> 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 no, we all 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 right though. Yeah. Yeah. No. I bet you aren't. You're probably dealing with the fucking being cancelled part of your life <laughs> at the moment. Hey, get it out where you still can, you know. <laughs> get, out, get it done and out early. What have we been up to? Same as usual, really. Yeah. Well, we've got Same. six seconds coming up, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think. I think. You some, know what? I think I've actually prepared this time. I've actually got something. I You've actually like remember. System, yeah. Yeah. So do you want to get on to that? Yeah. Segment one. Our week in six seconds. Not five. <coughs> Not three. Oh, no yeah, way. It's not three no either, way. mate. It's six seconds. And we've all got to do it. We've all got to say what we did within the last week within six seconds. How many seconds is that in total? Uh, 24. Boom, quick, oh, um, quick maps. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Do you want me to go first? Because sure. I didn't. I went last last time. Yeah, sure. You got the time already? Sure do. Tell me. <laughs> Launched the Milkmen, sold my house, and I wrote my car off. Four seconds. Oh, actually, it says four twenty. Hey, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just an absolute G. So, what says about selling your house? Yeah, I sold my house. Done a car. Yeah, box. sorry, I was just wanking off into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I sold, uh, I sold my house, so pretty happy. Nice one. Yeah, can, uh, I can move. I can move house. That's crazy. That's how, how it does works. that feel that you can have that independence now? It's fucking weird, mate. Yeah, it's weird. I'm are gonna... you going to look for like a box? Yeah. Nice, but like a bigger box this time. Yeah, probably. Mm. Nice. Well, probably. make sure you let us know when you do that so we can. Uh, mate, honestly, before you trash it, y- what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, no, I know you're going to talk about party. No, yeah. I am honestly. When I get my own place, I'm going to host a party. And we're going to go fucking mental. We're going to ruin the house. I cannot wait. Like, it's not a party if the house isn't on fire. That's we're all I'm committing. saying. Oh, I can arrange that. Without a party. <laughs> <laughs> Is this one of your hobbies in your spare time? You just go around awesome. setting houses on fire. <laughs> wait for your six seconds now. Sorry. Yeah, fuck oh. hell. <laughs> what have you done the last week? Set houses on fire. <laughs> bit, bit of arson here and there. It's just yeah. the usual, you know. Is there anything you're looking for in the property? What, a new one? Mm. Um, a good deal. Roof. <laughs> Roof. <Good. laughs> Fucking hell, there's a dog in here. <laughs> um, no, I think basically I want to get a house that's not like too small, mm. not too big that I'm spending like so fucking much on a mortgage, but also I want to be able to like, I want it to be basically, this is really a fucking weird way to put it, but I want an old person to have died in it. And the the reasoning, right? I know so that sounds. Like, no, I'm trying to figure out what you're trying to make sense. Ba- basically, of. the reasoning is the houses that old people die in. They're genuinely not that bad. It's just old fashioned and gross, mm. and it just needs a bit of like TLC, TLC, a bit of paint, carpet, stuff like that. Like a, it's not like a full out job where I'm having to rip out the entire thing. But I want to be able to do it up, and then crack on and sell it again. So. Yeah, very good. That's my plan. Well, uh, mate, I'm going to become a property gr- guru. Is hoping it happens uh, quicker than it was to sell the house. Yeah, because that was a whole farce, wasn't it? Yeah, because my solicitor is wank, just like any in the world. To be fair, Oof. probably. Yeah, they're all crap. <coughs> but yeah, yeah, sold my house. Nice one, man. I forget what else you mentioned. You uh, right off. off your car, yeah. Yeah, I wrote my car off. Did you just drink driving? <laughs> <laughs> No, um, so when me and Danny were on the way to London, mm. wrote my car off, crashed it. <laughs> because Danny was in passenger and you just, just couldn't resist. He just didn't. I did. He didn't. Okay, what he's happened? Got, he's then? got a crack in his fucking windscreen. Not anymore. No, nope. because I got a new car. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so basically, yeah, I cracked my windscreen and I got it fixed already, so. 
Fair that's play. pretty much it. That was he, a quick. He was like crying all the, like we noticed it like an hour or two out of London, and he was crying about it the whole fucking time. Yeah, it really upset me. I was like, <laughs> man, fucking. Hell. I was like, kind of excited to get into London because obviously we were going, we we're going to get food, you know, whatever, and then we were meeting our friend down in London as well to get food. So it was like, okay, cool. Yeah, this will be a good day. And then about two or three hours, like you say, you know, before we got into London, he goes, hang on, look at that on your windscreen. It's a massive fucking crack, <laughs> Damn. which we didn't notice. So my day was ruined. <laughs> well, yeah. at least it wasn't because somebody hit your car in London. No. It, basically, I think what had happened was we drove past a lorry and a rock had come off from one of the wheels and then it's gone into the, the windscreen and then it's cracked. Yeah, that's very likely. Yeah, so that was a fucking. It's done and dusted now. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but mate, it was a hundred and fifteen pounds to fix it with insurance. If I went without insurance, it would have been eight hundred pounds. Jesus Christ! It's Jason Bourne. <laughs> Sorry. Um, well, you know, you got to go learn. through these things, and you learn something you learn? from them. Don't fucking. Drive anywhere <laughs> ever. I learned that lesson. Why do you think I don't drive when wherever we meet up? Lazy. That too. Yeah. And the last thing I said was we launched. We sure did. Pretty. Uh, we entered the stratosphere a while ago, but like, count it. like a few months ago, Danny. You just didn't know. Yeah. Oh, where have it's I been? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's my week. Nice shit week. Fuck off. What are you going to say? Let me guess. Worked and I played games. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> We're going to time it in three, two, one. I worked and played games. You barely did that in a second. <laughs> I think he might have been to London as well. Something, there might have well, been a little giveaway. Yeah, that was in his last one. Yeah. We did that last week. week. That was last week, wasn't it? He hasn't gone London again. He's not like... <laughs> so confused. He's not a city living fucking gremlin, is Although he? Although I would prefer it. I do like it. You like London? I love London. See, I like the I like the fact that you can transport so easy with the um, tube. Yeah, the convenience of so it cheap. is like irresistible. But also, when I was there, when we went there, I don't remember what which month that was. Like, I could feel the fucking pollution. Oh yeah. Oh it yeah, was... mate. Going on the tube for twenty minutes is the same as smoking a cigarette. It's mad, isn't it? How crazy is that? It was. Just, you may as well just, take up smoking. It's just the cars. <laughs> for me. The cars, the cars. Yeah, mate. I love it. <laughs> when he was in London, he sent me a photo and went, look at what I've seen. And it was my favorite car, a 65 mm. Mustang, classic. Okay. Amazing. Good color, everything. And then I looked at the photo and I was like, hang on, this is in the middle of the road. <laughs> what? How has he got this photo? <laughs> uh, Danny? It came up to a traffic light and I kind of just ran out into the middle of the road. And just to get a shot. Oh, just to get the photo pleb. for me. But and, also, respect the hustle. And then he started revving it on... It was very nice. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, and they killed me. But also, why would you have a car like that in London? And then you're just going to be stuck in traffic. And then also, cool. why would he not record it instead of taking a photo? You know what I mean? He could have literally. Nah, recorded that's a, the... that's a memory just for Danny. That yeah, <sighs> that's that my. Did his best, and you're just like yeah. really? shitting on him, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you're a cunt. Yep. Awesome. Chris, what did you do? Oh wait, hang on. Get, Get your time right. Get your cock. I mean, <laughs> get your cock out. It's not the first we'll time he's ever said that. Or get your clock out. So, <laughs> okay, are we ready? Boom. Raring to go. Revin. Three. That's my bad. Damn. Three. <laughs> two. Um, I saw some sad monkeys, some <laughs> fresh animals, and I worked. Fair play. Just under a six. You saw some what? Sad monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Why were they sad? <laughs> And what the fuck do you mean by that? <laughs> so I was in a zoo. <laughs> it wasn't anything else. I went to a zoo. Okay. And there was just a monkey, right? Mm. Well, it wasn't. It was all of them. And um, so I did the impression of a few of the monkeys. Mm. These things called a gibbon, and they go like this to go. It's just a load of frat girls, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, thank you very much. And I walked past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then there's a monkey, right? And he's just chilling. How do I explain this to the people that are just listening? Man was sad, and he was sat like this. Sort of slumped. Hunched over. Hunched over and what? fit. <laughs> and fit. <laughs> Most monkeys, then. Yeah. So he was just like, he was chilling, but he was sad, man. I could see it in his face. 
And uh, that's the white skin look if I've never seen but, any. <laughs> the, the sad monkey's just got ultimate riz. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and he had this like really long. Oh, I'm gonna have to show you the pictures later, but he had this really long. Where neck. are you going with that? <laughs> <laughs> neck. And, like a little tiny head. And like, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, it was a bit sad because the enclosure wasn't massive. But you know, why would he be sad about that? Wild. It was just a sad. It was a sad zoo, but <laughs> it was a sad zoo. It was a shit zoo. That's a dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so and then what else did I do? I was just like working and that, you know, the huge, the huge. How was work been besides the stories that you've already told us? Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Um, are the kids, in the the kids still in the basement? Kids, yeah. Kids are in the basement. I, I Settling hear, in. I, yeah, I hear them now and again. I have to go down and check, make sure they're still there. Yeah, just they escaped again. Yeah. Just uh, uh, like uh, fucking uh, upflow the bucket of piss that's down yeah. there. I found this woman. Right. In the basement as well. That's yeah, a bargain. Yeah, that. yeah, man. You know, my ba- big basement. Anyway, <laughs> so like part of my job is I have to call these people. Yes. And be like, go through that run through like thing. And anyway, the first thing I have to say is, um, are you safe to talk? Right. Mm. So this woman, yeah, I can clearly hear traffic in the background and her kids, and she's like this, and then she's like, hurry up, cross the road, cross the road. Are you safe to talk? She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. So like, I can hear the cars in the back. This is the definition of not safe. <laughs> this is just in the middle of the M6. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm fine. I can talk. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so that's about it, really. Nothing, nothing does, does, the, the, does the job actually stress you out at all? No, I get funny stories like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. Because like, I don't. Like in that kind of situation, because I would never do what you do, is like that kind of responsibility of actually having not that power, but you know, like having that influence over somebody. Yeah, that yeah. scares me, man. But their trauma is my joy. Jesus, <laughs> 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 the fuck! That was a joke. A joke. <laughs> a joke. I swear. But yeah, I'm not even going into too many details of what I do. It just sounds sounds. They're getting like little bits, little snippets. Little like, snippets. Yeah, yeah eventually they'll piece it together and he comes across as, I'm and a psychopath. <laughs> in the basement. I'm just like With no it. empathy. Yeah. Yeah, this oh, this isn't a job. This is just his house. Yeah, mate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah busy day in the office again. <laughs> <laughs> He's just at home. Just playing Call of Duty and just mm. listening to kids cry out in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, yeah. So the kid's in your basement. I can't go into too many details. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alice, what about you? Oh, yeah, I was going to... So it's just a really little quick segment. Uh, I climbed a mountain. I almost fell to my death. Three seconds. Oh, you did it. Okay, brilliant. Well done. Mm. So you nearly died. Mm. How? So I um, I met up, up I met up with someone, and they wanted to give me a tour of this little... Um, <laughs> Cock. Yeah, that too, uh, of a mountain I'd never climbed before. And... Uh, where this place is, there's a lot of seals that uh, congregate, and like, it's mostly like during the winter period because they fuck off in the summer. <clears throat> so they all nestle around this little area, and I'd, I hadn't been there for quite some time. So we just uh, went to the summit and kind of just fucked about, really, just having a look around. But apparently, there was this little trail that I never knew about where fishermen go sometimes, and it's kind of. It's like your foot barely holds uh, the trail itself because it kind of goes around like a hillock. Mm. And there's a like... What would you call me? A <laughs> hillock. <laughs> a hillock, you pillock. Um, <laughs> What's a hillock? Hillock's just like a small mound of grass and earth. Right. But there's no other way it's to get hill. around it. So a hill. So a hill. So a hill. So now it's a funny word. So you have to <laughs> go around it, but there's nothing to support yourself on. It's just like really narrow, mm. and I don't really hillock. have that much like fear of heights. But like, it was really craggy underneath this whole place. This that's is a, like that's fucking, another word, craggy. What does that mean? Just rocky, very right. You've got a rocks. really good vocabulary. Thank you, mate. Mine um, can you still fight though, because we're all a bit <laughs> <stupid>. <laughs> we're all a bit <laughs> slow. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was like spent really high in the air doing this little trail just to get to the other side of this hillock, right? <laughs> and uh i nearly slipped and i had to uh like grab a bunch of grass to try and support myself and fucking hell so you actually nearly like snuffed yeah, it there about yeah god what a... but i got there and there was a nice view and i fucking ran home 
how nice our lives could have been, boys. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Has anyone else ever had like a near near death experience? Oh, plenty, but I don't remember yeah. them. You know when you like drive. And you <laughs> I don't want to go into it. Uh, <laughs> I've had too many. I've had way too many. <laughs> it's just got a list. <laughs> oh, right, let me run through this. So when I was two, when he's fully like uh, chronological order. <laughs> I mean, there was a time I smashed out my teeth. That could have killed me. You smashed? Yeah, you know, I smashed out my two front teeth. How? Down the mountain on bike. Back wheel came off on my bike. Right. I went over the bars. I didn't have any my safety gear on at this point because I was didn't have a seatbelt on. See, idiot. <laughs> safety <laughs> first, kid. Um, yeah, I just basically hit the ground on my face, ripped my front teeth out, and like just slid about five meters on my face. So how would that yeah. have killed you? Because well, the teeth was, might have gone down like his no throat. No brakes down this mountain. Really rocky mountain. Mm. It could have killed me. But your face saved you. But my like face a break. saved me. Yeah. And I was like, basically, I just got like, cuts all around my body and just blood everywhere. I basically walked. Was this last week? No, it was four or five years How ago. How do you explain now? your face today then? Um, same thing. It's just, <laughs> it didn't heal right. Mic drop. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Sorry. That was just, really uncalled for. Yeah, yeah. I think you're beautiful, Dan. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, sorry to cut off like this whole discussion, but we should probably um, mention why two members of the Milkmen aren't here. Yeah, I was like, I, do you know what? When you were saying your story, I was like, oh, I didn't actually mention why um, Simon and Stephen yeah. aren't here. I'll explain it. We fired them because of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but in reality, Simon is still in his coma. So we wish him the best recovery. Yes. And Hope Stephen is also now in a coma. Because I beat the shit out of him for not coming last week. Because I mean, he it forgot. Just goes full circle, doesn't it? Yeah. So mm. I didn't actually beat the shit out of Simon, though. That's just. No, well, him. He, you could fucking try. <laughs> He'd love it. He'd be like, <laughs> yeah, give me more. What? That's know. not where I was going with it. Yeah, but you know, that's what he'd be like. Yeah, true. Yeah. Man's horny. Have you ever violence. had any uh, near death experiences, Chris? I was just going to say. You know when you like drive and then you do something a little bit sketchy and then the drive home's just dead quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Me every day. <laughs> My near death experience, right, is somewhat related to driving, but I wasn't the driver. Basically, I was walking home, and uh, see, right, this is actually a good opportunity for us to uncancel all of ourselves. <laughs> so Not we make happen. some pretty scuffed jokes, right? Th don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> all of us do. Like we all make some pretty fucking Very stupendously true. horrible jokes Ooh, big word for you yep i'm learning see um but we all say some pretty fucked up shit but the problem is it's a joke right mm. all of us are joking none of us would ever want to like things yeah. serious about this <laughs> chris is like what <laughs> uh, we're yeah sure joking. sure we're, we're all joking yeah no nah, no nah, for real for real we are joking yeah just want to clarify but the thing is if we ever saw anyone in public that said something homophobic or racist or anything horrible towards another person to actually offend them or be horrible yeah, as yeah. a person. We would high five. Them. We would. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we definitely wouldn't. <laughs> We'd laugh and join in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you're no. not helping the situation. <laughs> no, we would actually step in and say something because it's yeah, not right. Fucking knock them out. Right, exactly. So yeah, anyway, saying it too. Yeah. Fuck so, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl. Fuck that guy. Oh, girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, we hate them both equally. <laughs> um, no, but I was basically, I was walking home from high school one day and oh, there was right. these two girls behind me and they were basically just being really fucking horrible to this, this girl that was near them, right. saying how fat she was and all this horrible, like they were being just awful. Mm. So I stepped in. I said, I said something because basically I stopped at a traffic light and then um this other girl walked off and then they carried on and then they're near the traffic light near me and i'm waiting for the traffic light to stop whatever and then i said something so i was just like you are really fucking horrible like mm. you need to just grow up because you're just being absolute cunts and you're disgusting blah blah, blah. Yep. and then i was so frustrated i was so like you know when you see red like you're so angry so i just walked in the road and nearly died because of fan <laughs> then just went and stopped started beeping me and i was like oh. <laughs> nearly died, but at least I did something good. <laughs> so yeah, that's my story. And then he died. That's final destination shit right there. Yep. So how mad would that have been though? I go, <laughs> you need to fucking grow up and then I just walk in the road and die. <laughs> They're just like <laughs> what? what has just happened? <laughs> so yeah. That's fucking uh, class fucking... though. Yeah, that's how I nearly died. 
Um, nice. There was another one. I, did, I don't know if this would have oh, killed me. Oh, is this me. for you? Yeah, I don't okay. know if this would have killed me, but Sai shot me once with my own rifle. Yeah, wasn't he it with shot, a twenty two? Yeah, he shot me leg. with my own rifle. <laughs> oh, well, the Raybolds. Danny and Simon is constantly is. shooting each other. They're I, good I, friends. I actually shot him in the head with his um, with his magnum. That's a gun, Danny. Why did you shoot your brother with a gun? <laughs> I Speaking of which, he's... <laughs> you slipped. <laughs> we just want to. It was it. revenge. <laughs> just clarify, these are actually not like yeah, they're, they're, real they're, they're weapons. They're point two twos. There, there we go. Gun, basically, yeah. But if you had a real gun, you would probably. <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, put him out of his misery. He's also thrown knives at me before. What is the matter with you both? I don't know. He, he, we, were, we were in a kitchen, and he goes, Danny, go stand behind on against that door. Let me see if I can like outline your body with this knife. Mm. No, he didn't. And I was like, yeah, okay. Uh, no, I stood against the door, and he's just no, I've done, me. I've done that with my dad, so I can testify. Same. <laughs> well, yours is just like a blank wall, mate, so. What, <laughs> mate, I was saying with your dad, I had a good experience. Like, what, why have yeah, you got to bring the no. fact that my dad left 23 years ago? Why have you got to bring that? Because you were trying to throw knives at him. Is that why you Your dad? <laughs> no, I was throwing it at his dad. Oh. Put this on, because it is very cold in here. It is pretty cold. You're also, you're ill, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, very ill. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Cheers for giving it to us, you prick. Yeah, you're Kiss the one who wanted me here. Anyway. Um, has anyone else nearly died? Have we gone through that? I think we have. I think, yeah. yeah. We've Unless all you want more mountain biking stories. No, what, what? Sorry, that's what I was going to say. Simon. Yeah, with knives, he's got a serious problem. Yeah, oh, yeah. he's got a fascination with them. Yeah, that is like, like my dad is again. He's quite fascinated. Yeah, rub by it knives. in, mate. Rub it in. Yeah, I've got <laughs> yeah. a dad option. Yeah. Brings up every opportunity. I know. Like. Yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, yeah. my dad. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Um, he has like a weird fascination with uh, army knives. Bet he does. So I can understand the fascination, but Sai literally like likes to get a hold of them and just kind of go. Yeah. Just it, like loll about with them. Mate, the first time he came into my house, right, we were going out in our hometown, like out, out. Mm. Comes into my house and then we're having pre-drinks, whatever. He just grabs a knife and just starts throwing it. I'm like, mate, what are you doing? You're in my kitchen. Like, what? And he just starts like juggling in this knife. Just juggling it. Why not? And I'm just, I'm just like, uh, am I going to get hurt here? Yeah. So that was another near death experience. He, he loves lives, but he's so goddamn useless with them. It's unreal. <laughs> yeah, he cuts himself Didn't all the time, um, doesn't he? Like, cut off the end of his yeah. finger. Recently. So we're we're in work, and I just finished sharpening one of my chef knives, mm. and I left it out. I was like, you can use that if you want while I'm on my split. Mm. And then my boss, literally like twenty minutes after I left, sent me a picture of his thumb covered in blood after he cut the tip of his finger off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> So don't use knives. That's the uh, moral of... The well, there goes all our London subscribers. Um, <laughs> right, segment two, weekly news recap. Has anyone got any news they want to bring up? Um, Gonna take that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> In gaming news, okay. Hogwarts Legacy, Ooh. which is released. Yeah. It's released by it this episode. Yeah. 10th of February it came out, and Games Radar Plus review said... With its stunning recreation of beloved Harry Potter landmarks and thrilling combat, Hogwarts Legacy definitely has its moments. Sadly, it tries to do too much all at once, and it never quite settles into a comfortable rhythm or leverages the player experience against the established laws of the Wizarding World. Mm. So I, uh, It's also in quite a bit of controversy at the moment. Is it? Oh, yeah, the transgender yeah. thing. Yeah, what so is that about? Apparently, if you play the game, you're transphobic because J.K. Rowling's replied to someone on Twitter being transphobic to someone yeah she's got a serious no, problem she's done a lot on um, twitter doing harm yeah to so, the, tran the transgender community yeah it's people are trying disgusting. to boycott the game because of it yeah yeah which i get but yeah let's let's be around the bush and turn this around in hogwarts legacy i know these little details stop making sexual innuendos by just looking at Oshan. chris is literally oh, yeah, 14 years old yeah. he heard bush <laughs> um, and then he just looked at me and went mm. <laughs> chris chris get out <laughs> um so in the character creation settings of the game, you can alternate the voice of your character, whether you have a male or female appearance. Mm. So go with that. And there is a transgender character <coughs> that runs a pub, I believe, in this in the actual mm. game. Yeah, so clearly the, the developers are actually like not with the actual beliefs of this shitty author. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're fucking stupid. They're, make your own mind. Yeah, exactly. But has anyone actually 
going to play the game? Or? I do because I have fond memories of playing the old Harry Potter games. And I'm not a Harry <laughs> Potter fan. <laughs> the really yeah. old ones where Hagrid just looked fucking <laughs> yeah. amazing. Oh, yeah, the one polygon Hagrid. Hagrid. I, might, yeah. I might buy it just to do the... Um, the unallowed spells. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, those five seconds in. I'm fucking yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just as soon as you see a kid. I'm fucking <laughs> Oh yeah. I think that's quite cool though that they actually gave you that option. Mm. But yeah. I, th- I think I don't know whether this is true, but I've mm. heard that the Havada Kedavra spell you only get like towards the end. Yeah, which is really I annoying. Mean, is it because you're a student? No, I'd want to kill everyone. You want to kill students. Yes. Yeah, you, you're, 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 you're walking into that hall and just start killing. Yes. You're the 18th century school shooter. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> that is mad. That is, yeah. That is my life, yeah. Don't come to school tomorrow. He's got his one. <laughs> <laughs> don't come to school tomorrow. So, uh, no, you don't come to school tomorrow. <laughs> I've got my one. Um, <laughs> Any of you guys actually Harry Potter fans apart from the whole? I mean, I like Harry Potter, yeah. No, so I'm I, thought, a fan. I thought you hadn't watched it. Yeah, I've watched Harry Potter. I have haven't. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's you that hasn't watched Harry Potter, and you haven't watched Lord of the Rings, have yeah. you? I will batter both. I haven't watched either. Oh. So Harry Potter has got a few good films. The, f- the early ones are a bit. Camp. I don't know. They all they all ha- so the first two had the same director, so they've got a similar style. Yeah. Then, but... the, then the second, no, sorry, the third had a different one and then the fourth and fifth had the same there, there's one like in the Why middle they? which i really liked because it was a nice escapism story uh was it order of the phoenix it might have been i feel like or it, might it have been. no actually half blood prince no i really didn't like that one. Oh, get your <laughs> fucking face <laughs> it, off this i don't podcast. know the, uh, the uh, name of the actual film but it's the one with the um uh quidditch tournament the massive one at the beginning is that Ooh. is that a, a escape from Azkaban? Yeah, could it be. might be yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Either way, yeah, that's yeah. the one I really like because it's where just... they touch the boot and then they fuck off somewhere. Maybe it's been a long time since I've watched it, but that was the one that stood out to me. But um, I never read the books because I tried to get into them when I was a kid, and mm. I hated the way that they were written. Like you know what? the way that they were just structured. I, I just didn't really understand why people read the books because I was just like, the films exist. <laughs> Hey, well, Danny, did you they came. The <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> Fuck you. Not for real, though, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> but they've had some really good games as well. So, yeah, like there is nostalgia there. Plus, like a lot of people love the escapism in because uh, another like topic, semi-recent news of the new Avatar coming out, mm. and. I remember watching a documentary specifically about people who found the movie to be like this kind of like gateway drug into like a different world. Exactly. And they kind of like have this own like fan fiction, personal identity Mm. uh, towards the Pandora, whatever it's called. Yeah. So there's there's an audience to be had for every kind of thing. Do you reckon we should play it? Well, it's not multiplayer, but I definitely think we should. Oh, is it not? No, it's just single player. Oh. But I think if we, if like one or two of us got together and just kind of like started it at the same time, no, just like sat in the room together and fucked about on no. it, I think that'd be quite funny. Mm. Like make the most ugliest character <laughs> and just you know just so someone looking like Chris, my GTA character, you mean? <laughs> no, I meant you, just you in general, mate. <laughs> 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 I'm making everyone cry today. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. When, so, what what games do you think we should do more videos on? Hmm. Good question. Well, you actually brought something up. Um, we should do like VR. Mm. I think that would be such a funny video. Yeah. I thought that would be like massively entertaining for us and the audience because we're both kind of out of our element. Like, imagine me. In a horror VR game. Now you cheat yourself. Yeah, you, know, yeah, no, you only have content. to eat anything. Content, mate. I'll wear whites. Do you know what I mean? Just so, <laughs> just so everyone's aware. <laughs> Is there any good horror games for VR that you know of, Dan? Um, yeah, there's a good few. There's, um, do you know what Phasmophobia? You play that in VR. Can you do Outlast in VR? That's I, a good horror well, game. I think you, you sure? can for the second one. Yeah. Mm. I could be wrong, but saying that, uh, Outlast... The multiplayer version of Outlast is coming soon, and I really want to play that with mm. all of us. Yeah, that'll be good. That's like you know, that's lo- like made for us. Games for VR. Yeah, but I've got um, I've got like Blade and Sorcery, Hot oh, Dogs yeah, and yeah. Hand Grenades, which is a gun just run around shooting hot dogs basically. Nice. 
and um i've got like on my assetto corsa driving racing games stuff like that in vr yeah oh that would be good apparently this is just like me watching articles and um shit uh the new playstation vr system is going to be as bad as the first one it might <laughs> <Probably>. be <laughs> but reactions to a car game that they're releasing with it mm. is like fucking top tier what's, apparently what's the game the i don't know it's a playstation exclusive i think uh, i mean it's coming to country isn't it, isn't it? The VR. probably it that's it then yeah Probably that's outstanding. So it's a shame Gran Turismo is bad. <laughs> I haven't played it. I don't know. Nah, it's, it's fun, but it's just it's it's more counted towards a controller player, whereas I play on a simulator. And you like racing. modding dinosaurs into your racing games? I'm, uh, I love a certain course. <laughs> it's great. You're a proper racist, aren't you? Yes. Me. You See? looked at me when you said that, and no, I'm like, no, I meant Danny. I meant Danny. <laughs> Danny's a racist. He loves racing games. I love my racing games. Also, the other version. <laughs> <laughs> no no this is somewhat related and it's in world news mm -hmm. pewdiepie is having a baby is he really that's mad that. i didn't yeah. know that, that how fucking mm. crazy is that no congrats to the guy yeah congratulations to pewdiepie you'll see what? this he's also he? bought yeah, a skyline he's, watching. Yeah. he's subscribed isn't he's, he? he he's bought what a skyline? lot a skyline he's got an r33 skyline Damn. I don't that's know a nice that car. Oh, that's a nice okay. car <laughs> you, you said that so condescendingly <laughs> to me it's a <laughs> nice <laughs> Car, you know, with wheels. <laughs> it's nice, a nice one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Man was flabbergasted. <laughs> but um, I'm guessing this is like relatively new news, so we don't know yeah. the gender or whatever. No, okay. I don't. Well, it was, it was they really might. Announced. I don't know. Okay, let's predict the name. Let's predict the name or whatever Pew gender Pies. it is. Oshan. <laughs> 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 I wonder if, like, if somebody paid him, like, on Patreon or something, like, a certain amount, and he said, "Name the baby this." If I give you, nah, money. no chance, mate. Mm. Man is mega rich. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't need your money. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm going to give him money to pay it. As as a guess, I think he's genuinely got thirty mil plus. Good to him. He, Good easily for him. more than that. Probably, yeah. He's probably got fifty mil plus. Like, he's ridiculously mm. rich. Jesus, he, has, he moved to KSI Japan. has like, double that. Uh, do you think? I think he's like under a hundred mil. Hell no! I don't know. Do you think? Yeah, easily. He's got his he's got multiple businesses as well as yeah. I know content but creation. Yeah, you know, Vicstar is actually more. Oh yeah, no, Vicstar's the richest out of everyone. Yeah, but I don't know because it's it's difficult, and it when you get to a certain point when you're rich, apparently, <laughs> um, where you don't know how rich you are because you mm. have so many net. You know, yeah, you, yeah, you you know, all your money isn't in your yeah. Account. You don't yeah. you don't have cash. You have assets. Yeah, exactly. So. Vicstar has more cash in his account than yeah. KSI, but then KSI might have more hundred million. But how popular is Vicstar? Because I don't watch those guys, so it's all right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Doing better than us. He's like. just a little business savvy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like he he he, uh, he made that Minecraft server website, didn't he? And he oh, made like a that. couple of mil within a few days. Yeah, fair play to the lad. If you're yeah, like, he, thinking he didn't that's he say right. on a video a couple of months, like a, like a month, a couple of months back now? They asked him how much he was making off Minecraft servers. He said. 2.4 easily damn ridiculous nothing on us though with milkmen.shop yeah. <laughs> it looks so... at every camera <laughs> we've, we've made at least 10 pounds no yeah, well, i mean fair, to be fair you're not actually wrong no like let's not like brag much but also like when we launched that site in its beta form so we could like all mm. have input yeah like we still had orders going on oh yeah we're like holy shit this is actually yeah, gonna... mate. We're mega rich, so yeah, we're rolling. Get on it, our level. It's everyone. afforded all of this lovely. But also, set. we really love the support, and <laughs> we would love and you we to... would love to send you toe pictures. Yes, we also love your money. Keep sending us. <laughs> <those. laughs> also, money, money, I do. Money. We haven't actually mentioned this on the on the podcast, but anything that is bought on Milkmen Shop, ten percent of the profit goes to charity. Hell I, didn't, yeah. I didn't agree and to it's that. it's for cows, isn't it? Yeah, yep. four cows, so that they are treated better and they're not slaughtered in the in a horrible way. They're slaughtered in a nice way. So. <laughs> they, so they, they did this without... <laughs> <laughs> they just decided this without everyone's input. Um, I didn't agree to it, nor would I ever agree to it. <laughs> He's like, fuck the cows, <laughs> fuck the cows, <laughs> only if we have time. Please don't do that. That's, that's going to cancel us if you fuck a cow, yeah. man. Oh, I fuck cows daily. <clears throat> Uh, should, we, should, we move, should we move on? <laughs> should we move on? <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so in TV and film news, Kelvin Fletcher tells Emmerdale fans he's coming back to the soap. 
Do you remember why we put this segment in? Yeah, yeah. but I'll I'll carry on with the oh, with sorry. the news. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Fucking prick interrupting me. <laughs> the Andy remembered. Sugden actor starred in the long-running ITV soap from 1996 to 2016. 20 years on the show. Damn. His character was at the center of a number of dramatic storylines, including setting fire to the barn. Prick. There was probably cows in there. <laughs> Absolute bastard. Therefore, killing his adoptive mum. Oh, that was a bit... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Um... But the reason we want to bring this up is because Stephen was actually in an episode I mean, of he would, Emmerdale. He would defend this claim, but since he's not here, we'll just have to talk shit about his performance on said episode. Crap. Do you remember the one line that like stood out more than anything? I would get it up if I had it. What did he's he got say? a gun. That's it. Yeah. Is that what he gun, said? Yeah. He literally just... I think that's his that's only it. line. Yeah, he's, like, he's got a gun, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was actually going to ask. Stephen, how was it on Emmerdale? But the prick is still in a coma. I mean, man was in fucking TV guides. Let's not forget about that. Like, I remember going, this was when I was studying in Bristol, and I went to the news agents and I went through every uh, TV guide and I would saw Stephen's face and I'd piss on it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? What? That's what Stephen wanted me to do, right? What, piss on him? Yeah. Yeah, but in I real mean, life. Look at his like... yellow hair. How do you think it gets that? <laughs> A fluorescent. <laughs> what is the bleach in your piss? <laughs> like, oh, hang on, that makes sense. He did say in the first episode that he drinks bleach. Ah, see, full circle, mate. We're coming. We're coming back. back. We're coming back. I'm surprised you remember that. I don't. All right, question for you all about food now. Ooh, does pineapple belong on pizza? No. We got one no. No. We got two. I no's. got another long answer. I don't know, but I've seen many people. So I used to work. Uh, serving pizzas in uh, my student years, and a lot of people. Part Italian. <laughs> what? <laughs> Danny's will, already bored. I'll batter you with pineapple. I will fucking enjoy it. But you don't like pineapple. Yeah, he does. He I eats like it pineapple all the time. without pizza. Well, about anyway. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people would com- like come up to me and say, "Does it belong on pizza?" And I would say, "I don't fucking care." <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my shop. <laughs> yeah, that's my answer. No, it absolutely doesn't. Like, that is... doesn't. You are a dirty nonce if you have pineapple right, on pizza. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I'm glad you agree, Mr. Fish Fingers over there. Fuck off. <laughs> Mate, you're really telling me you wouldn't have a nice little fish finger right now. Fish finger on a pizza now, what was your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> fish on pizza, that is a... He's going to go over and try that. No, yeah. I'd say no. Oh, I have a eat- uh, weird thing that I have eaten, though, oh. which Stephen dared me to do, and I was like, that's not much of a dare, is it? And he just went, I dare to eat cake on a pizza. <laughs> I was like, okay. Did it. Quite nice. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Okay. Pizza what do you pie. think Sai's answer would be? What no. to panel? It'll be, pl- no. It'll be no. What about Stevens? He probably wouldn't say anything. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he would shrug go. and probably he'd just make his foul. Mm-hmm. Do you know what he'd do? He'd go, "What are we talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> so what a stupid question. No, he would go, "What? Ellis, piss on my face, please." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. That's all I ever hear him saying. <coughs> He's yeah. really into that piss on the face. Massive piss fetish, yeah. that's Stephen. <laughs> Let's get it out there. That's one thing we have to expose about him. Everyone gets cancelled. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, if you haven't already, make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok with the handle at WatchMilkMen. And we do all sorts on there, don't we? We do memes. We do Yay. extra content. We have bonus content. We bonus. have some We've got a good mix. And because, you know, you have nothing else better to do, so you, you may as well go and follow us. At Watch Milkman. Please. Roast the fat ones, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Roast the fat ones. The fat ones. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you've got Roast fuck the all. fat ones. You're fucking you've got there, absolutely fuck no all. life. I mean, they're listening to this podcast, to be fair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know what? You're right. I take that back. So okay. what else have they, what else, you know, what yeah. else have they got to do? Such big procrastinators, aren't I they? I bet you won't Google milkman.shop. Do you know what I mean? I bet. I honestly, I, I can't think of any person that would ever go to milkman.shop and buy every single piece of clothing. Uh, yeah, exactly. I reckon that's going to work, boys. <laughs> <laughs> We're in it. the money now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, curdled conversation. A conversation between all of us where we delve into the hypothet- hypotheticals of the world's most notorious and despicable questions. The hypothetical question for today. You can spend a day as the opposite sex. What would you do? <laughs> Here uh, we go. Get yelled at. Get yelled at. Or get harassed. Cat-called. Yeah, he's going to get catcalled. Yeah, just to know how it feels. 
And you go, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> I feel <laughs> wanted! <laughs> <laughs> like, what's the big deal with that? Do you know what I mean? What's the big deal about getting like harassed by men? <laughs> you should know, mate. Fucking hell. You don't even have to change gender. Yeah, don't really have to me. They're all after you. you know, I'm not sure what I'd actually do meaningfully. I would actually genuinely want to be cat cords because I want to be fucking humbled by that. I think stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're gonna want to know what it feels like to do the old uh did you redo? Did you redo um, <laughs> yeah, but that means you've got to have sex with a man. Yeah, that that's, no. that doesn't change much for me. Just do a solo. Get, looking... <laughs> Get the old, uh, you know. Hoover. <laughs> Hoover. What the Hoover? <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing that came to mind. Oh, Henry! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. That was wrong. First thing you're going to do is just... I reckon you've got to shove something inside it. <laughs> that's that's where Chris is going with this. Pineapple. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'd feel up my tits first, arse, then do that. That's like man the... is unbelievably horny. <laughs> You're telling me you wouldn't. You've changed gender. I would probably just like. I don't know. <laughs> do you want to know what I'd do? Please. I'd become a Christian extremist. I'd, I'd literally become a terrorist. So because what's going to happen the next day? I'm me again. What are they going to do? Arrest me. But what? what? I'm a different fucking person. For what purpose? I'd do some you? twisted fucking shit, mate. That's what I'd do. Anyway, Danny, what would you do? <laughs> You're just going to leave it at that. No, I'm just going to leave it at that. I can't answer after you say that. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. No, obviously, I'm Daniel. joking. I wouldn't become an extremist. Daniel. I would become a Christian. <laughs> Danny, you wake up and you're now Daniela. What do you do? Put my gun in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's no different to what you do now. Exactly. I just want to die. How about like set up like an OnlyFans or something? What for the day? Yeah, yeah just to see how much you can make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, what are you? Six or ten out best. <laughs> Mate, female me, I reckon I could be pretty fit. You know, yeah, you need a lot of makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you just agreed to that you're a six out of ten. Now, but then when I'm no, a woman... you're not, mate. You're a ten out of ten. Oh, Don't wink at me like that. I'll thank you later. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that explains it. No, you're a ten out of ten. I would stop it. it. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what it's like to get catcalled, oh, isn't it? I know it's like to be a woman. Though. I would. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that, because <laughs> all the women are going to be like, "You have no idea what it means to be." A... <laughs> 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 you don't know the struggle. I would. Um... I would also call J.K. Rowling and say, leave this planet, please. Now I know how it feels What's to be transgender. What's she got against trains just... anyway? You know what I mean? Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> <A> trains. <laughs> oh, I wonder what a train's yeah. pronoun is. Because they have pronouns in different languages. Speaking of Welsh as well. I wonder what that is. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm completely lost. Fuck it. knows. I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing it's male because of fuel. What, hang on. Where what? is what? When about trains? Yeah. <laughs> like like in different languages, Welsh, French, German, there's pronouns how you actually like oh, uh, yeah, identify no, an no, object. Uh, right, okay, and, I see. You know. It's a she train. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Right, bonus question for you all. How would you describe your life so far in twenty words or fewer? Come back to me in another twenty. Suffering and pain. <laughs> Are you okay, mate? No. <laughs> I'm getting all sorts of mixed vibes here. Gun in the mouth. Yeah. 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 You're not vibing with life. <laughs> well, vibing. <laughs> what are you saying? You've Why has this a become life? a therapy session for this cunt? Yeah. <laughs> I diagnose him with not having the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Vibeless. <laughs> Vibeless. <laughs> Take some. Anti <laughs> anti vits. Uh, yeah, I'm not prescribing this. Uh, anyway, vibe yeah. pills. Vibe. Vibe pills. <laughs> it's LSD, isn't it? Moving on. Uh, Chris, how would you describe your wor uh, your life in twenty words or less? Bing chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream. Let <laughs> me do it for you. Um, that's all right, isn't it? Chilling. <laughs> that's yeah. literally the most Chris answer. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> It's all right, you know. Hey, I'll see how the rest goes. <coughs> Story so far, I've had a few interesting twists and turns. Wasn't expecting a few of it. Yeah. You know. 
Didn't expect I'd be sitting here with you lot. I'm pretty sure this has gone over 20 words now. Yeah, you've definitely <laughs> just said like you 40 words. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Not saying more words, Ellis. Stop right. it, I'll okay. come. Yeah, you know, that's it, really. That's life. Yep. That's the meaning to life. Mm. Hey, what about you? A uh, bunch of shit happened and now I'm here. I mean, that's a, that's a good philosophy. Shit happens, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's got, what I was going to say on my gravestone <laughs> <laughs> man's going to say respawning in 3, 2, dot 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 There's that's like... such a boomer <laughs> that's such a boomer <laughs> yeah I know with a minion next to it <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's going to have a minion like really pixelated it's respawning in 3, 2, <laughs> dot 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 you've just got the um, you've got a stereo next to it with a halo respawn sound <laughs> Should we move on? Yeah, I don't well, think we've got uh, much else to elaborate. We're just 20 year old somethings trying to figure your life out. What would you say your highlight of your life is? Uh, that it keeps changing. What? Like, nothing's ever consistent, I would say. Oh, okay, right. Like, everything can just <laughs> sounds morbid when you put it this way, but everything can go away in a second. But you accept new challenges and your new perspective perhaps mm. okay because you, you don't know yeah. what's coming around the corner Alice, man, you're so philosophical thanks man mm. just i'm quite yeah. good at this so i'll go right. off on the rail right. really quickly but i was um when i was working on a film way back when we were stopping for lunch and we were talking about like how somebody was complaining about their parents doing something and i had said something well you got to grow out of the worst parts of your parents and then he literally sat back and went fucking hell man and i was like really yeah how how people just so like not adept to actually wanting to talk about their own mindset or like how to navigate life wait so you told him to basically not be like his parents yeah basically in the most like basic way see for me i'm going to follow in my dad's footsteps and leave my kids respect <laughs> Got to do it, man. I mean, yeah. Although I can't really follow his footsteps because I don't know where the fuck he went. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, at least you'll know what he was going through when he did it. The door, <laughs> I suppose, <laughs> as far away from me as possible. He literally yeah. saw me and went, "Nah, <laughs> nah that ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not vibing. <laughs> I'm not vibing. Where are my pills, uh, Chris? Highlight of your life." Meeting me, you probably, innit? Fucking twats. Like, that's probably been about it. You're all right, like. What do you mean, you're all right, mate? We're literally the same person. Yeah, we've been saying this, innit? It's like freaky how we like yeah. think exactly the same. Like, I, I sent you a TikTok, mm. didn't I? I was, it's like, um, so there's like, there so was this guy we... on a Joe Rogan podcast and he was like basically saying, <laughs> there's certain things that humans can definitely do that like, we don't know how to do like telepathy and mm. telekinesis and stuff like this. And then I sent it to Chris and I was like, this explains a lot because you always know exactly what I'm fucking thinking. And it's weird. And we, honestly, it happens every time we're with each other. We'll say the same thing yeah. at the same time, or we'll think the same. It's weird. Cause we always think about tits. So <sighs> men's tits. Yeah. 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 Of course. No, 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 no. no. Um, we won't be showing tits uh, on this episode. Um, I was gonna <laughs> maybe the next one. <laughs> I was gonna quickly make a joke when you said you're the, basically the same person. I was gonna say like our shot cuts to you, but you're deep faked as Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Chris. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's freaky, isn't it? It is freaky. weird. So yeah, it's been a highlight, you know, meeting you lot, and it's been all right. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't get sentimental. I'll punch right. you. I hate every single one of you. That's better. Danny, highlight um, of your life? Probably meeting Ken Block. Who? Uh, Ken Rick. Block. Rick. Yeah, um, he's been my childhood hero since I was like fucking six. He's a driver. Yeah, uh, okay. rally driver. He do like, like stunt um, uh, things. Well, he, well, he was. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, fucking horrible how he died yeah. as well. I was, I was basically just, he, he was basically the one who put me into the car community. Oh, wow. Like, he was the one who got me into it all. And he was just genuinely a down to earth guy. He was tried to help as many people as he can and he just lived his, day, his every day to the most he could mm. and then obviously um a while back now he uh got crushed by his own snowmobile which is how he died fucking hell so because he was with a group wasn't he yeah he, he basically went off 
from the group to go up this mound and it rolled back on top of him. By the time they found him, he'd already, already succumbed to his injuries. Jesus. Oh. So bad, isn't mm. it? Didn't that happen to Jeremy Renner recently? Oh, he got run over yeah. by a snowplow, yeah. Mm. Bloody hell. I know. What's the world coming to? No idea. These snow drivers. I've got snow idea. Oh, God. <laughs> so, how how did you actually find out about him? Or, like, like learn of this? Um, well, if you've ever been even slightly interested in cars, you'll know of him because oh, okay. he's just yeah. that. He's, mm. he's a legend in the car community. Okay, that, I mean, that shows my interest in cars. Yeah. Yeah. You see this thing called Jim Carner, yeah. which is like, he just used to do these mad stunts in mm. a okay. car. And that was like, yeah, very popular in that. But yeah, nice. rip, rip to the guy, rip to the geezer. <laughs> yeah, and as a rally driver, mate, mm. he is, he, he, he has actually insane footage of him driving. Yeah. Like, it's, it almost looks not real because he's going so quick through these lanes. And it, honestly, it's just crazy. Like, I definitely he, couldn't um, do that because I'm drunk most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he joined rallying quite late on. Oh, okay. He joined rallying when he was 35, which is when normal drivers leave <clears> the sport. <throat> and he was doing it all the way up until he died. He died at 55. Wow. Really? Oh. 20 years? Yeah. Wow. I was imagining he'd be relatively young, but no. he actually had a... A long and fulfilling life. Yeah, mm. he, he basically started out doing Jim Carner um, with Zubaru, and then he went to Ford for eight years, and then he started driving high on dies towards the end. Um, so that's got a good life then. Yeah, he's built a massive company off it as well. He started. Do you know? Have you ever heard of the shoe company DC? Yeah, it, that that was his company at one point. Fuck and off! He, really? He started it to. He sold it to go into rallying and stuff like that. Holy shit! I didn't know that. No. Oh. Man, that's sick. Yeah, that was that's the highlight of my life. Nice. When did you meet him? Sorry, I didn't uh, know this stuff. Eleven. Where, where was this? At the gay bar? It, it was in Conway. He was he was on the WRC. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. And they all parked down on the uh, on the key. And he basically punched you and said, "Fuck yeah. off, midget." He's called me a little cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's a nice memory oh. to have. At least. Oh, no, and then, and then my life went downhill yeah. from there. <laughs> Moving oh, on. No. <laughs> there we are. Back to his uh, original self. <laughs> yeah, we're all sharing it things. It was all good just for a moment. <laughs> See, we're all sharing things. Last episode, Chris talked about his virginity, losing it. That was a nice story that he brought up. Yeah, that I definitely brought up. <laughs> you weren't yeah. forced yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, not at all. He wanted to bring it up. And now Danny's shared a really nice memory of his. <laughs> Lovely. Also, did you lose your virginity with him? <laughs> no. Ah. Oh. That would have made it more, That's a shame. more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Wait, what was yours? Yeah, what's your one? Um, <laughs> <laughs> life is shit. One word at a time. And as the name suggests, we devise a story one word at a time. If two or more of us speak at the same time, then we can vote on which word stays in the story. The game is over when the story reaches a natural finish and the person who spoke the first word announces the end. And I actually have a word to start off with. So oh, I'll start. Okay. Spaghetti. Bolognese is quite shit. When I add come, uh, <laughs> I was I was hoping it would be shit. <laughs> Especially it's quite shit when I add shit. <laughs> why? Why? Why have you got to make it that? <laughs> right. So, fuck's sake. When I add come to sketch, all right. Um, because. I like looking at my future children <laughs> eating <laughs> eating <laughs> my spaghetti <laughs> laced <laughs> with more of my Smelly, smelly, stinky, semen. The end. <laughs> nice. What the good. fuck? Why does it always like go it. to come? Why? <laughs> We're going to have to not make this a thing. Yeah. We can't have one word at a time. Every time it just turns to come. <laughs> how, how did we go nah, from I... spaghetti to <laughs> our own children eating cum filled spaghetti? Like, because we like it. What? <laughs> There's something wrong with you guys. <laughs> I didn't take it there. No. 
I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys. Danny's are... just got cum on the brain. He said cum on the semen then. So I mean... Are you okay, mate? Oh. <laughs> you got something you want to tell us? I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go back to your spaghetti, mate? Yeah. That's it. Just cummy spaghetti. What else do you put cum in? Because you're a chef. Like, like I, <laughs> I'm not yes. if, if I told you this, my workplace would be shut down. You, and I'd you be arrested. get fired. Oh, arrested? Yeah. What are you doing to the food? You don't need to know. You wonder why it's salty. <laughs> yeah. That ain't salt I put in there. <laughs> <laughs> why is it red? What? That's because I do it so much. <laughs> <laughs> it just, this that's all got, that comes out this at this point. Off, off the rails real quick. I like it though. <laughs> Should we move on? Yeah. Please. To Please. the final segment Simon's Milk Facts. Now, obviously, he's still in a coma. But like I said last episode, before he went into a coma, because I knew he was going to go into one, I got him to record some milk facts. So here is one of those milk facts. One of them old Egyptian Donnies, um, Cleopatra, that's her name, she used to bathe in milk. Fucking nutcase. <laughs> yeah, Cleopatra. I didn't actu- know that. Like, This is an actual true story. She wow. actually used to bathe in milk. Well, do you know, he called her a nut job. He would definitely do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh no, yeah. He texted me later and he was like, Yeah, I might try it. <laughs> but Although, she, like genuinely. She did own slaves, so she is a nut job. Yeah. She's an Egyptian Donny about <laughs> <laughs> Chips and John Donny. Yeah, but do you know why she did it? Well, to keep her skin like milky, soft fresh. and smooth and apparently it works. So So I'm gonna slather myself in cheese cream and see how, what happens. Basically yeah. the same thing. Make sure to subscribe and we'll do it <laughs> on this channel. That oh, this, could, mate, that could be a video. <laughs> that, that would be really weird, but okay. The title of the video is just how to get the best skin in the world. It's like proper clickbait. It yeah, looks yeah. like a healthy, you know, looking just, channel. Just Simon drowning in a bath of milk. <laughs> yeah, it's just a really scuffed video <laughs> of Simon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. We'll, get, we'll get my swim pool out of it. I'm I like really want to do, do this. Remember? So this brings back a memory of the swimming pool that you've got. <laughs> remember we um we filled it with milk. Yeah, yeah. I remember that? I mean, we were halfway there. To be we fair, we were halfway there. We just didn't have the mass amount. We just bought a lot of cartons and just let them float in the fucking swimming pool. So for context to this story, <laughs> no context so, needed. No, I think there is because oh. all they've heard is we were in a swimming pool filled with milk. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Well, you don't think we need to give them context? No, I mean, I think we should. Because it was, it was for his birth, nah, birthday. For it. It. Yeah, it was Simon's birthday. How old was he? 22? I don't 23? know how old he is right 13. now. 13. <laughs> <laughs> it was his 13th. No, I think he was 23. Because he's 20... Yeah, I think Six. So. He's 37 now, so... <laughs> um, no, yeah, so he was 23. And then Alice had the bright idea. I know what we can get him for his birthday. 23 six-pint gallon fucking jugs of milk. So we did that. We looked absolutely mental going through Tesco, but we nah, bought it. And I've done it before. What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we took it home, gave it to him, and then we just filled up the pool because it was in the summer with milk. Nice ice cold milk. I was, I was meant to ask you, how much did that cost you altogether? Not much. It not was that, only like 20 quid, wasn't much, it? Yeah. Do you so, get out of date ones? <laughs> nah. No. No. <laughs> they were all uh, in date by the time we got there. <laughs> yeah. And, and annoyingly, I needed milk that day, <laughs> <laughs> but I forgot to get myself some. Oh, good. So I had to go and get more. I mean, I doubt it would have tasted good being fucking laced yeah. with chlorine. by chlorine and other chemicals. And germs from all you cunts. Well, just Simon. He was like the only one in there apart from... No, no, we, no, were, you guys we were all in the pool. I wasn't. Yeah, so hang on. You were the only one out and then you... Yeah, you're yeah, terrified we're, we're, of None of us water. were in there. Yeah, I hate water with a passion. Yeah, got, uh, you must be it? really thirsty. Philosophobia. Philosophobia. What was that? That's the fear of water. Why are you scared of water so much? Um, I don't know. I just don't like the idea of like big bodies of water. Simon's got the same underneath. problem as well. Simon has got the same problem. Mm. Does it run in the family? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's only me and him that have got it. But yeah, I just don't like the idea of having nothing below you. For so long, mm. oh, just don't go in the water then. That's yeah, what, that's pretty exactly simple, what I do. I just don't do that. Yeah, fair play. All right. Well, that's that. 
Hmm. Yeah, but that was like a two foot swimming pool, mate. So what was below it? Do you know what I mean? Fucking earth. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, we're all just in a paddling pool. Even that would scare him. Yes. I don't, what's <laughs> down there? I, don't, I don't like water on my face. Freaks me out. That's oh, weird, right. because you like all sorts of other stuff on your I face. I love everything else. <laughs> Especially cum. Okay. You we were going different ways. a lot of cum in them. <laughs> do you want to do it to each other? Maybe. 69 this shit, dog? Hey, yo. <laughs> this got off the rails quickly. <laughs> How do you end that? Uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, anyway, all right, bye. <laughs> that's, that's how we do it right, right, guys. thanks for listening to episode 5 of the Milk Bar podcast if you'd like to support the Milkmen even further go to our Patreon at patreon.com slash milkmen with a multitude of membership levels available you can actually get access to our milky toes you'll also get access to bonus content and watch our videos early and then for the chance to win a one night stay at the Hilton Hotel we're giving that away it's uh in Ukraine uh, make sure to make just fucking subscribe and if there's nothing else we'll see you next time in the next episode you dirty maggots <laughs>